Hey, Shani from SpeakToReview.com. So the website is updated. I have um, a kind of a new look to it. It's still similar. I didn't want to completely change everything. The homepage is going to be different. I'm going to have a couple of the most popular cubes that people seem to be clicking on a lot, as well as a live feed of YouTube and Instagram. It's going to be a little bit delayed. I think it's like up refreshed twice a day. Um, but if you're ever wondering what's new and don't want to go look through YouTube or Instagram, you just check there. I wasn't even a big fan of Instagram before, but a lot of people seem to use it. So I'll just post some new stuff on there. Things that maybe won't even be in videos that are just a new update of something. There's also um, the page is going to have them organized by type. So three by three, four by four, five by five. It's going to be a little bit more condensed, just kind of, um, again, more of the popular ones. So just maybe like three or four of the big seven by sevens or six by six. As at the making of this video right now, I haven't finished doing all the pages for seven by seven or six by six. So those will be updated soon, but like some budget three by threes. The other thing, if you want to see all of them, they should all still be in the organized by manufacturer, but also there'll be a search bar. You can just search for them right there. Other than that, it's pretty much gonna be the same. I'm not doing so many blog posts anymore. So I'm just gonna take that off of the menu bar. There's also going to be the updated uh, top cube list. I am going to weight that a little bit more than just what the reviews are because sometimes when cubes come out like the Thunderclap, it just was like five stars all around for so many things because it was really hyped and that's how it was at the time. New cubes come out and they kind of need to be adjusted a little bit. So yeah, so it might not be exactly like those stars, but it should be hopefully accurate to what many people feel like they should be. So that's about it. I'm going to try to again, keep it updated. It's it's something that I just don't always have a lot of time to. You guys have helped out a lot in the past with offering suggestions and doing different things to help calculate some of the numbers, but I think I'm back on track now. So definitely check it out. Go to speedqbview.com and you know read some reviews, submit some of your own. If you don't see a puzzle that you'd like to see, submit some reviews for it. Um, often I don't make pages if I don't have a review for something yet. And so that's why sometimes you don't see them right away. I'm going to try to make some of the big ones more right away and put my reviews up there. One other thing, I have moved a lot of the YouTube reviews to the top of each page. I, um, when I started the site, different people have really helped out build it and I want to make sure they get credit. At first, I didn't want to just have them at top because I wanted people to feel like their reviews were were um, meaningful as well. But I think a lot of people take um, a YouTuber review who has done a lot of those kind of things with a little bit more weight than other people. So I'll make sure those are up there and they get the credit they deserve. So thank you very much. Leave your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. Hit like, subscribe for more content like this in the future. And as always, stop by speedcubeview.com for more news and reviews.